This is Razer's gaming-centric wireless Bluetooth headset that is aimed towards mobile gamers like a PUBG on smartphone, but I would say you can use this for sports activity as well. Now the package comes included with the hard camera case, four total ear tip sizes, three of them are single flank, one of them is double flank, and a very badass fancy micro USB charging cable that is out of this world. Now double flange ear tips are supposed to provide better sound isolation, preventing more noise from entering your ears. It's somewhat true but it's not significant compared to single flange ear tips. I would say double flange works very well to provide extra support in ear to grip it really tightly so if you're doing aggressive movement like aggressive head shaking until the spectacle flies off, the head whoa, the headphones literally stays in place. That's the purpose of a double flange ear tips. Now, when it comes to the overall look, I would say, yes, it has the gaming vibes, the black and green, and even there is glowing logo right here on each side, which is green color. I wish in the future they mix RGB. Now, the control center is located on the right side right here, which also house the microphone, which has a very good audio pickup right here near to your mouth area. So you don't need to hold the piece and talk into it. The control center also has the volume rocker and also the media playback and call function and it's in a slim profile. The buttons are clicky but does require some force to actuate them. Now this wireless Bluetooth headphones is quite unique. Now many companies out there are trying various solutions to shorten the cable length and to prevent as much dangling from occurring especially if you are doing high intensive sporting or gym activities. The way Razer addressed this is to place the battery behind your back or your neck and have it together with a magnetic clip. So the magnetic clip actually holds on to your shirt, preventing the cable from dangling left and right too much. So from our testing, aggressive movement, running, jogging, even a little bit of rock climbing from my friend, activities, it still stays on your shirt. So the magnetic clip works. The benefit of having the battery behind your neck is so the ears and also around the neck area is not burdened by some battery weight. So a good implementation by Razer right here. The sound isolation on these babies are good because it uses a longer sound tube measuring at 0.6 cm long and in combination with the double flange ear tips as well. I wish Razer angled the ear sound tubes around 45 to 60 degrees for better ear comfort fit. Now, aside from that, this baby right here is powered by a pair of 10mm neodymium drivers. It uses Bluetooth 4.1. It supports aptX if you're on Qualcomm Android devices. But I would say it needs NFC because it's everywhere right now. Now, from our testing, the maximum range stability we get is 12 meters line of sight. The rated battery life of this babies right here is 8 hours. Our battery life test uses the iPhone 6 at the second volume bar. Usually our headphone wireless test, we use it at the third to fifth volume bar. So these earbuds right here are very loud from the lower volume, which is good in our books. It lasted us 11 hours and 40 minutes. Now for audio quality tests. For pop and EDM, I chose TNB OK, which is the low bass frequency song. The low bass frequency is superbly energetic. You can feel the air pressure booming in your ears. It does not eat into the vocals and it has zero bass distortion. The subtle bass vibration fades smoothly. The low bass frequency is overall well bodied and the low bass frequency does not overpower the vocals too much. Both sounds rather balanced. For Pia Mia Do It Again, the bass is superbly energetic. You can feel the air pressure. The bass fades ultra butter smoothly, especially at the two minute and five second mark. The vibrations is just eargasm. The bass does not overpower the vocal and it feels balanced overall. There's a clear separation between the two. The bass is well bodied and EDM tones sounds fun in general. For vocals and instrumentals, I choose violin, the raindrop, the piano and the violin tone sounds right and natural. It leans closer to the crystal clear type and not the warm sounding type. I prefer the crystal clear type sounding. It has the right amount of shine at the high frequency, just right on. The tones are well bodied and does not sound half-hearted. The bass and drums feels balanced with the piano and the violin tone. In terms of audible level, there is a clear separation between the two, a good indication of a balanced REM. For pentatonic c through when it comes to Mitch Grassi's high-pitched male tenor voice, it performs well at the high frequency with the right amount of shine, it feels bright. Each singer can be identified easily in a group, every diction and pronunciation is crystal clear. 
Vocal beatboxing, echoing, and humming is eargasm, and it does not overpower Mitch Grassi's vocal in the song. Now, before I proceed, let me be frank. This is a loan unit right here. I have to return back to Razer, and Razer is not paying me a single cent to say the following. Now, when it comes to gaining grade headphones, they are usually bass-centric, bass-heavy, and when it comes to the mid-range, the high-range is muffle-sounding potato grade. It literally sounds like this. She says she shows on the seesaw. It's gaming, gaming characteristic. That's how I faced in the first generation of Hammerheads. But from the second generation onwards and the Bluetooth version right here, it's different because the Bluetooth right here performs well when it comes to low bass frequency up to the high frequency. Very unexpected and this is coming from our regular test on the iPhone 6. And from our iPhone 6, we never on any equalizer at all. So that is a direct natural sound signature from the drivers itself. And I don't use any Android devices despite having the aptx Qualcomm support. I don't use that because on different Android devices, they, the devices actually play around with the mid-range and the high-range equalizer without your knowledge and without your control, making the buds to sound fuzzy or distorted and sound bad in general. So I was skeptical in my results to a point that I have to go to my audiophile friend and borrow his Sony audiophile player, which is the A45 and I connect it through Bluetooth and the results is same with my iPhone 6. So basically, my ears is still good. It's very good to see that Razer listened to all the feedback in the forum, the writers, the reviewers like us, and basically improved from the first generation of Potato to a proper great audio listening device right here. It's literally a big slap, ouch, a big slap to our face and say, get that in your face, writers. So Razer, you proved me wrong the second time. That's good. So if you're interested in the Hamhead Bluetooth right here, links in the video description where you can purchase them and for the pricing itself. Comment below where you're from, what other products we should review next, and if you have this, just leave your feedback. Remember to like and subscribe and see you guys in the next Razer review. Yeah, my face still hurts because I slapped myself too hard. Ouch.